Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and, and you're watching this week. Oh, wait a minute, hold bitch. on, Raven. First of all, this is like on like Zoom, okay? <laughs> I rarely get to talk to Raven or text you. No, and we literally are wearing the same thing. Okay, what does the bottom look like? There's another coincidence. I too have got on my snag tights. They're completely snag free, made for everyone to wear. Snag, it's an ethical company that focuses on using materials that have sustainability to it. Snag tights, you guys have really created an amazing product for everyone. Everybody can wear these. I actually could see myself wearing these all day long at home. Their tights last longer than he does. Ooh. Ooh, is that so? We love a company that's all about inclusivity. Please check out the link below. Check out Snag Tights. Yas. I'm Raja. And I'm Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. <laughs> What are we doing today? Before we go any further, I want to say, bitch, I got my two. Oh, look at that. Ooh, oh, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty tooth. Yes, it was, it was a long time coming, took six months, but I got my two. The entire world is glad your tooth is back. I'm glad it's back. <laughs> so what are we act actually doing today? This is actually super exciting. Yeah, we are going to be tuning and booting the looks from the main stage of season six of All Stars of... Oh, there go my hat. Lord, don't want me to wear this hat. She went flying. There we go. So All Star 6, we're really excited about this. Yes, I want to see what the bitches brought to the workroom on the first day. Bring on the girls. First queen into the workroom. It's Akira C. Davenport. Woo! Akira, please. Oh my God. Absolute. Gorgeous. She looks, you know, all of the words we always use stunning, phenomenal, amazing, fierce, but she looks gorgeous. That hair looks like it's growing out of her head. I'm not sure if it is or not. No, it couldn't be. It's gorgeous. Everything about it, there's something kind of princessy about it that I like. Yes, she looks like a princess. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I love sparkle, 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 blonde hair. And you know, I love a monochromatic look. I'm always down for a monochromatic look, but your hair to match in that tone of gold. And then she came in with a face mask. Yes, work, bitch. She's really setting herself up. Uh, at a high standard from entrance. So that's that's gonna be tough to keep following up. But I know that Akiria has great, great taste and she has a fun time with her with her look. So this is gonna be great. Living, I give this look a two. Two. Next we bring to the stage. To the workroom. To the workroom. Jiggly Caliente. Jiggly, oh my goodness. Oh, Jiggly has my heart. This is my sis and she looks Stunning. I love Jiggly. She looks amazing. Yo, look at that glow up. Is that what the kids call it? The glow up. They're still calling it a glow up. At this point in the game, she is giving a glow up. I love the detailed rhinestone along the zippers and down the front of that dress. And you know, I love a leather, even if it's not real leather, a leather look. I feel it's always so classy. And that hair. Jiggly looks fantastic. I'm excited to see her on this season. Yeah. She is, uh, you know, laughs. She's a funny, funny person and, and also quite endearing. She's always there for a good time and I love a good time gal. Toot. Toot. Next we bring into the workroom. Jan. Jan has branded herself the lavender or the purple queen. You know, she showed up last time in purple. She's showing up this time in purple. I think most of her looks usually include purple. Purple is the color of royalty, they say. Jan looks great. Yeah. She looks cool. This is a good workroom entrance look. I'm into it. Personally, I think a boot would have looked a little bit better with this. Just saying. However, it's a cute look. It's very on brand for her. Then it's still along those lines of the current generation of drag where everything needs to be strappy and lots of things spangled on it. Fetishy straps, a little bit rave, you know, a little anime. Jan looks great. I give Jan a two. I give it a two. Next we bring into the workroom. Oh my gosh, Raja O'Hara. I absolutely love her. And I mean, her name is Raja. 
So, you know, I love a Raja. <laughs> so uh, why wouldn't I love this Raja too? Entrance looks, trend alert, might be purple because she's wearing the purple boots that you wish Jan was wearing. <laughs> I wouldn't want her to wear these because they say Raja O'Hara on them. However, I think it would be kind of fierce if Jan walked in with boots that said Raja O'Hara. Because I'd, I'd want to wear boots that say Raja O'Hara. I think they should all walk in with boots that say Raja Gemini. How about that? Oh, sh no! <laughs> She looks beautiful. The hair color, the colors in the dress, the boots, everything. Two. Raja O'Hara gets a two. Next, we bring into the workroom. Ginger Minj. Yes! Oh my God, look at her. What is she giving? When she was there the first time, she was the self-proclaimed glamour toad. The glamour toad is back to claim my crown. And so this time she came back dressed as two glamour toads. And she's got them on her shoulders and then a bunch of toad warts. It's a funny costume. It's very funny, but it does nothing for her shape. It does nothing for anyone's shape, really. I actually don't mind this. I think that this is whimsical and a little bit hysterical. I like the eyeballs. I just love the color combination of it. I love funny shapes, polka dots and Bubble shapes are my favorite. And I'm assuming that this is all intended to be some sort of toad warts, but I just love the colors. I love things that, that feel very cartoon. I give Ginger a uh, two. I see where she was trying to go. Actually, I don't see where she was trying to go. I, uh, it, no, mm -mm. booped. Our next girl to the workroom. Yara Sofia. Yes, oh my God. She is back. And here is her third workroom entrance look. Yara is one of those people who's just so fun, so cool. And she's got a very particular point of view in what she likes to wear. So I'm excited to see what she does this season. I love this. I think she looks great. Everybody seems to be coming from outer space. Is that the theme? Yeah, everything is kind of very structured garments, peplums and, you know, peaked uh, shoulders or some sort of armor type thing. So yeah, she fits right in trend. Work it out, Yara. You look amazing. I think she looks fantastic. I think she looks festive and she's ready for the party. I give her a two. Two. Next, we bring into the workroom. Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Oh, Silky, yes. She pulled cookies and milk out of her bra. What a great idea. You should always travel with cookies and milk. I would love to be able to travel with cookies and milk. I would love to be able to continue <laughs> eating cookies and milk. Um, <laughs> but let's talk about the dress. I love that color. I love it. Love, love, I love, love it. that color. I love the construction of it. And I love that she's got that big gown on one side and then something sleek and understated a little bit on the other side. And look at the ponytail. Look at the ponytail. That ponytail. <laughs> I love it. You know, why the hell not? I mean, it really is cool. I mean, this isn't the first time I've ever seen bubbles, you know, in, in people's no. heads. But no. at this length, I'm into it. Yeah, I love that they drag on the floor behind her. She looks great. That dress is cool. Yeah, and everyone, you know, a couple years ago was doing that, uh, that you know, tiered tool dress. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to see a different take on it. Maybe she actually had the full dress and was like, oh, I'm gonna wear it differently. Let me cut that <laughs> in half. I don't think that the tool trend is ever gonna go away. I think for drag, no. it's one of the funnest things that you could do is just pile on a bunch of tool. And she looks yeah, fantastic. Yeah. This color is amazing. Her hair looks great. I give her a two. Two. Next, we bring into the workroom. Pandora box back from season two and all stars. One. God, Pandora looks beautiful. I love this dress. I love the colors in it. I love the cut, that cape, the draping along the bottom half, and that hair with it. And I'm seeing this color theme happening again in the entrance looks. These, these violets, purples. Pandora looks stunning. I give her a two. Yeah, it's beautiful, two. And next we bring to the workroom. Scarlet Envy. Ooh. That hat. Honey. You know, I love me a large, large, large hat. I love things on my head. Scarlet looks beautiful. Look at her figure. I love this entire outfit. It really is, uh, it, it's quite a statement piece. She looks like pink lemonade or something. Yeah, it's very pink lemonade. Anytime you take yellow and mix in some pink with it, it always goes to summer time the sun's out a little longer and you want to go sit outside and sip a pink lemonade 
made. And I totally get that with this. I'm not a huge fan of tie dye. I've never been a fan of tie dye. On this, it makes me hate it even more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tie-dye person. I'm a tie-dye freak because, you know, as many people know, I am quite the hippie. And I find it to be quite inventive to, to use that as a pattern or as a reference. So I give this like a two. Yeah, I love the shape. I love the colors. I just don't like the tie-dye and I love the hat. So I'm more, I'm kind of on the fence, but I'm gonna go on the more of the two side because of the pieces. I will give it a two. Next, we bring to the workroom, Serena Chacha. She's so beautiful. You know, you want to talk about a glow up, you know, back on season five, I guess you could say it was a little rough. Like most people, when they come in, sometimes it's a little rough, uh, but she has come back and she looks beautiful. And I love this look, head to toe. It is drag. I love it. I wonder if she made it. It's really fantastic. It's a lot of look. There's times where a lot is good and there's other times where a lot is like way too much. This is like right there where it's like, bitch, you did that. It looks good. I love that whole matador Spanish take on giving it that feminine touch. And the colors? Details, trims, yes. Two. Yes, two. Next, we bring to the workroom. Kylie Sonic Love. Or Kylie, or as we know her, Sonique. She, But she's nothing but love. I absolutely love Kylie. She is so sexy. Look at that body. She has that sexiness about her that you wouldn't realize when you talk with her. She's very sweet. You wouldn't realize there's this sexy vixen that goes on stage. And then when there's a sexy vixen on stage, you wouldn't realize there's this sweet demure person in the backstage. So I love, and I love that type of dynamic in someone. But this look, bitch, is Sonique Kylie through and through. The house down. She is fetish. She is sexy. I love a fiery red, shiny, patent leather, vinyl experience. She has a terrific body. She's athletic. She's perfect. She's beautiful. I give her a toot. Toot. Next, we bring into the workroom Trinity K. Bonet. Wow, this is going to be high impact this entire season. Trinity K. Bonet is gorgeous. I've always thought Trinity was beautiful. She's one of those queens where she can, she literally needs a teaspoon of makeup and she looks stunning. She don't wear a teaspoon though. No, she doesn't, but she could take a little bit and it still look good. And of course we know she's all about Beyonce. I love everything about the whole look. I love them little booties, that skirt, the belt, the blouse, the breasts, the hat, the hair. She looks sexy, she looks sparkly, and she looks sophisticated. I give her a two. Two. Next we bring to the workroom, Miss Eureka O'Hara. That's beautiful. She went for like Marie Antoinette tea, but like kind of did another another whole vibe on it. It's beautiful. It's a couple of different things. She's one of those queens where she likes to have structured costumes. You never see her kind of veer from that. This goes with this and that's how it's gonna be worn. And she doesn't kind of mix it up as far as taking these pants and putting it at this top or this jacket and putting it at these bottoms. It's, like, this is how it came, this is how I'm gonna wear it. She doesn't do separates. And if it looks no. like it's separate, it's actually all held together with one big giant jacket zipper in the back. It all kind of, it's yeah. all one constructed piece. I just wish she had real birds fluttering around in those cages. That'd be kind of fierce. Ooh, and that's easy to pack. Yeah. Where do you keep your birds? I got two birds for you, bitch. Hey! <laughs> two. That's a toot. Wow, those entrances were something else. Bitch, talk about a glow up. Serving, 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 serving. Give me all the servings. So there was no runway. The very first challenge was a variety show. So we're going to toot and boot the looks that they wore for their variety show performance. They're going right into it. They're like, yep. you know what? no, you don't get to do just runway. You have to show us some talents. We want to see what we're working with on the sixth installment of All Stars and see what you bitches brought back to the main stage. Our first girl to the stage, Jan. Oh, and here we have Jan in very typical Jan attire. She's giving me pop star. It's a beautiful costume. It's very on trend. The shoes match completely. I wonder if she had them actually made for this or just covered a pair of shoes. But yeah, it's kind of like, well, yeah, it's nice. 
I like the colors, I like the shapes. I think she looks really pretty. I'm not really that surprised by by Jan's look, but I think that uh, this is very much part of her like thing that she does. So I like it. I think it's beautiful and she gets, she deserves a two. Yeah, two. Next we bring to the stage, Pandora Box. Oh, look at the props they get to put up. I love this. I love an overcoat. And especially when it's like kind of a tea length overcoat that flares. So Chanel, it's so Dior, it's so 50s. Oh, it's a reveal. Of course it is. It couldn't just remain as is. It's a reveal and she shows off underneath another dress. And she has black feathery boobies because that's what is inside her box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where we're gonna go. I love it. I think she looks great. This is also very Pandora. The shape, the knee length of the skirt. Yeah, and I love the boots. I love the boots. I've never really seen Pandora do anything that looks that's terribly like sexy or slutty or hoary. This stays within her taste level. I love how you say that as she's dropping to the floor doing silly string out of her tits. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? I speak so classy, I spoke too such soon. a classy broad. I give her a two. It gets a two. Next, we bring to the stage. Jiggly Caliente. Oh, wow. Okay. She's doing like a cheerleading kind of like color guard type performance. And I get that that is something that you would wear, but not on the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. I think it could have been a little, uh, what does Michelle always say? Elevated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna agree with you on this one. I think, you know, uh, cheer can definitely be elevated. Her glow up is really, you know, she's like, look at this bitch, which I appreciate. So that part I I, I totally get and I appreciate, but it's kind of plain. Yeah, she does look beautiful, but uh, we're talking about the garment and the garment, I'm just, no, it's a boot. Mm -hmm. Do I have to do it? All right. Yes, you do. I'm gonna boot, I'm gonna boot it. I'm gonna boot it. It's my first boot. Mm, I feel bad. Okay, I boot it. <laughs> Next, we bring to the third Kylie Sonic Love. Oh my God, yes. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. The way it hugs her body. Oh my God. It's hot, bitch. Yes, it's Bob Mackie. It's got things hanging off of it. It's. It looks like she's naked. I love it. I love it. She looks. She looks like a superstar, and that's what I really, especially love about this. She is stunning. This outfit is beautifully done, and it fits her gorgeous. She looks and amazing. She looks and amazing. Hot, hot, hot. sexy. Yeah, she looks. Yeah, hot. I love everything about the look from head to toe. A goddess. I give her a toot. Toot. Next, let's bring to the stage Raja O'Hara in one of my favorite things, shapewear. She's just wearing a little underwear and that's it because she actually makes a dress in one minute. Oh, that old Bianca trick. That's a Bianca Del Rio trick. But Bianco did it in five. This bitch is doing it in one. This hasn't been done on a drag race stage yet. And you know, sewing is not easy for people who don't know how to sew. No, it's not easy, but then to do it in a minute? I mean, come on. It's careful, careful planning. But not only does she make the dress, she also gets dressed. She puts it on. I think I'd be super impressed if like the bobbin got fucked up and she changed that too in under a minute. Then it's- Oh, I'd she re-threaded the needle. <laughs> that's pretty spectacular, actually. I love it. Well, that's one of my favorite dresses, bitch. That is you in the early 2000s all the way. Like, you used to wear a cowl neck like that all the time. They're great to wear when hanging out after the show. They're great to wear for a number if you dress out of it. Just the way they complement the body. I love those things. And to be able to make one that looks like that in a minute and put it on. And in that color, that lavendery purplish color, which we're seeing. Bravo, bravo. It's a toot. Toot. Next we bring the two butt stash. A curia. It appears like it could be camouflage because she is moving really fast, but I love every color in this. And I love all of the pieces. I love the jacket that she came out with and she took it off. Then she's slowly taking things off and it's just gets sexier and sexier. Yeah, I love it. She's a brilliant performer. She's super talented, obviously. An amazing dancer. This outfit is super cool. I love a good strip tease. I think she looks beautiful. The color combination is exciting. I love mixed patterns. I love lots 
lots and lots and lots and lots of colors. So this, this excites me very much. Her hair is fantastic. Yes, please. I give her two. Two. Next, we bring to the stage. Trinity K. Bonet. So she's doing stand-up. So she's doing what she should do and just wear a simple, fitted, nice look that just, you don't have to do much in it and it just looks good on you. I think she looks sexy. I think the pants could be a little longer or maybe they're just hiked up. It would have been funny if she like did like 80s, 90s comedian when they always had like a blazer, like Ellen and Rosie O'Donnell, they always had like a blazer uh -huh. uh, or like even the brick wall, you know, or yes. the comedy. <laughs> it was always a brick wall and there was just a spotlight around them. I would, I would have brought the brick wall to put behind me. But this costume is really, a, it's beautiful. And she has a terrific body. She looks sexy in it. I love the hair. The hair is one of my favorite things about it. I just love a nice bob, you know? You know I love a bang, bitch. I'm not always a huge, huge fan of overly sculpted wigs unless they are absolutely like sculpt, Sculptisha Marie. And I love black and gold. Black and gold together always just look great. I wish the pant were a little longer, but it's a two. It's a two. Next, we bring to the stage... Eureka O'Hara. That is so cool. Yeah. Girl, that is really, really cool. I mean, that's impressive. That's something I've never seen on Drag Race before. It's beautiful. Great idea. Fabulous. And I, I do love the hair. I mean, it's just a really pretty David's bridal gown that she projected on. If she didn't have the projector on it, it would be like, okay, girl, you went to the bridal store and got you a wedding dress to wear on the main stage. But for the way she presented it, and you kind of needed to have a bridal gown. One of the big princess bridal gowns. And this is not a bad white gown. It's serving the purpose that it needs to. And projection. I think the projection is the outfit. The projection idea is brilliant. It's a two. And I'm and I, I I'm gonna shoot this. Wow. I'm shooting so hard, I'm shooting harder than that silly string coming out of Pandora's Damn, titties. that's pretty hard. Next, we bring to the stage Scarlet Envy. And she blows bubbles. That is so fun. Oh, and there's a strip tease. Oh. Yeah, and I love all the pieces. I love the ruffle tool coverlet she came out in, then the dress, and then the bathing suit. And then the, the bubbles are kind of part of the look. I think it's a little piece of genius. I really, really appreciate this. She looks beautiful. And I give this entire sequence show a toot. Toot. Next we bring to the stage. Silk and Nutmeg Ganon. Woo woo! And she is a piano playing bitch. And she's singing. I love seeing queens perform in this way. I know that lip, lip syncing is such a big part of what we do. I love seeing queens showcasing the, their real, real talents. Playing an instrument, singing, keeping an audience engaged in this way is, is fantastic. And also she looks great. She's got on like a blue suit with black piping and black paneling. Oh, she looks beautiful. I like this. Yeah. I love a pantsuit. Mm -hmm. You know, some people think that pants are something that you shouldn't wear in drag, and I absolutely disagree. I love a cute pantsuit. I love something that fits the body nicely. And who doesn't love a sparkly pantsuit? I've always loved pants in drag. If they're done right, I think it looks great. And these look great. She looks great. It's a two. Yeah, it's a two. Next, we bring to the stage... Serena Chacha. She's gonna style some wigs. Because, you know, Serena Chacha is known for her wigs. She sells wigs. She's got Serena wigs going on, yes. They're all on stage, on display. There's a reveal. Oh, a sexy reveal. Uh-huh. And she's dancing. She is pop blocking, bitch. I guess we're seeing through this first episode, these queens have brought a lot of shoe covers, spats, things that go on their leg and will give you the illusion of a boot, but not really wearing a boot. She's got some pretty ones on. I love that they match the front of her outfit. That jacket was on a little too long. Nice jacket, but when they have that on, you know, okay, there's a reveal. Where is it at? Mm -hmm. If you're going to have it on that long, it should look like a beautiful thing that you're wearing that then comes off. Otherwise, everyone's waiting and waiting and waiting for you to finally take it off. She looks beautiful. I think she looks beautiful. I give her a two. It's a two. Next, we bring to the stage... Ginger Minj. 
orange. I love all the pinks. Pink is so fun, yay. She's on the good ship lollipop. She's so cute. I think she looks adorable. And the outfit is cute. I love that it looks like candy wrapper. Looks like she unwrapped a couple lollipops and said, mm, I'm gonna put these right here and make myself an outfit. She is a chupa chup. She is a Tootsie Pop candy confection. She's a dum dum. Is she a dum dum? No, dum dums aren't wrapped like that. She is adorable. I give her a two. It's a two. Next, we bring to the stage Yada Sophia. Oh, she loves those foxtails. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Titties. <laughs> oh wow. Talk about a reveal. Look at those tits. Look at the tits. Look at the picture on your screen right now, bitch. <laughs> when you put it in stop motion like that. Oh one is, one my is up here gosh. and one is down here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, not even real ones jiggle that much. Those are, every time she moves, they go like from her toes up over her head. They are bouncing. And I love the outfit around them. <laughs> These are some pendulous titties. Pendulous titties. Not all titties sit up high, you know? A real booby has some weight to it, so. I love the silliness of it. I love that Yada has that personality and that sense of humor where she can just kind of play like that and do something so goofy, um, kind of frightening too at the same time. Yeah. I also love the outfit itself. The sleeves with the fringe on them that have the harness for the boobies and then that plastic shoe. She loves to use very vibrant color in weird, different, and non-conventional ways. And here she's taken it and used fringe, and I love it. I love fringe, and I love lots of colors. So this excites me, and I'm into it. I give this look a two. Two. Trend alerts. Purple. Lavender. Violet. Lilac. Aubergine. Shades of purple. Grimace. Barney. Purple. Purple rain. Grape. Mmm, grapes. Ooh, I love grapes. Grape. Mm. Our top two of the week is... Akiria C. Davenport. Yeah, we put it all together. We scored it. Entrance. Stage. Entrance and... Stage. Cut a cow. Yes. Top two. Watch all new episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race All Star Six on Paramount Plus and Wow Presents Plus. So let's stay out of each other's closets for next week's episode. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.